Hello everyone. Welcome. My name is Teresa Sedano and I'll be guiding you in the slow art viewing portion of this experience. For those of you who may be unfamiliar with the term slow viewing or slow art viewing, you can think of it as in meditation we are focusing on the breath. We are anchoring to our breath. But in slow art viewing, instead we anchor to the art, to the artwork itself. And we do this in a non-judgmental way. We take in what we see and what the artwork is offering us. I am so honored to be introducing this amazing artist, Granville Redman, and telling you a little bit about him and his background. I feel such a connection to this artist because I'm a former sign language interpreter and I've worked with the deaf community for many years. So many of us are well acquainted with this prolific and gifted artist. Granville Redman was born in Philadelphia in 1871 and as a toddler, he developed scarlet fever, leaving him deaf. This is when his family decided to relocate to California. He studied art from a very young age, and he had many famous artists as his mentors, as well as attending the School of Design in San Francisco, he traveled to Paris, continuing to develop his skills and talents. He then returned to California in 1898 and stayed in Los Angeles where his parents resided. When you do the slow art viewing with us today, you might want to look for two distinct types of styles. Some of his earlier paintings are somber in hue. Redmond preferred those tonalist scenes at dusk or illuminated by moonlight. And then he has paintings with bold colors, bright poppies, and an impressionistic style. So now I'm going to ring the tincture bells and invite you to take in a deep breath with us so that we can get ready to anchor into our slow art viewing experience. Taking in a deep breath. And as we exhale out, letting our shoulders relax down if we're in a chair, our feet on the ground, and beginning to look at our piece of artwork, I'd like you to first just notice, what do you see first? Take in one detail and ask, what is happening in this painting? Then imagine that you are in the painting. Where are you? What are you doing? I'd like to share with you a quote from another deaf artist, David Hockney, who says, I actually think the deafness makes you see clearer. If you can't hear, you somehow see. Imagine that you are in the painting. Take a moment to trust your senses. Where are you? Are there sounds? What do you hear? What do you feel? 
Is the sun warm or are you in the shade? What do you smell? Are you near the ocean perhaps with its salty air? Or are you in a meadow with the smell of grasses and wildflowers? Now, I want you to step out of the painting and notice how the artist has achieved the effects of the work that you were just feeling. You may wish to get closer to the work or maybe stand back or sit back but take some time to notice the mechanics of this artist's work. What kind of brush strokes did he or she use? Are they big or small, long or short? What colors do you notice? Bright or dull? Natural looking? If you could ask the artist anything about his work, what would it be? Continue to take in the art. If your thoughts have begun to wander a bit away from the artwork and away from this class, that's fine. It's natural and normal. By becoming aware of your thoughts, you can gently let them go and you return your attention to the work of art. Now I'm going to ring the bells and invite you to take another deep breath as we conclude our slow art viewing for today. Thank you, and I look forward to the next time that we meet together. Be safe, be healthy.